Okay, in this video, we're gonna find uh, uh, the atomic mass from the natural isotope abundances. This is part two. So I'm gonna provide another example on how to do this. Okay, so here's the question. It says chlorine has two naturally occurring isotopes. Chlorine 35 has an abundancy of 75.77 and a mass of 34.97 atomic mass units and chlorine 37 has an abundancy of 24.23% and a mass of 36.97 atomic mass units. Calculate the atomic mass of chlorine. Okay, so to calculate the atomic mass, the first thing you do is you set up your equation, which is is over of, is equal to the percent over 100. Um, actually, let me do this in black. Okay, so is is what we're looking for because is is the part of the total, the total being the total mass. The total mass of chlorine 35 is 34.97, so that's going to go down here. Okay, the percentage is the, uh, the percentage of abundancy of chlorine 35, which is 75.77. Okay, and all divided by 100%. And uh, the is is what we're looking for. So uh, the, we're going to uh, represent the is by an x, because that's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, so now all we have to do is plug this on the, in the calculator and see what it gives us. Okay, so uh, this is a proportion you're going to cross multiply first. So you're going to multiply 34.97 by 75.77.77. And then you're going to, uh, after you, you finish multiplying these two numbers across, you're going to divide by 100%. And you're going to get 26.5. 496 26.496 okay um, now the numbers that were given in the problem were 75.77 percent and uh, 34.97 atomic mass units so you need to compare these two numbers to see which one has the smallest uh, significant figure count because uh, whenever you multiply it, you need to look for the one with the smallest number of significant figures. So 75.77 has a total of four significant figures, and 34.97 also has four significant figures, which means that uh, the answer down here needs to have a total of four significant figures. So I'm going to place a little blue mark right under the ninth because this is the fourth number. One, two, three, four. This is the fourth uh, significant figure. Okay, remember that you don't round until the very end. That's why I'm placing the blue mark so that I know that this problem has four significant figures. Okay, so now I'm going to go to part two, uh, which says over here chlorine 37 has an abundancy of 24.23% and a mass of 36.97. So the mass is 36.97. The abundancy is 24.23% out of 100%. Okay, I plug this in the calculator now, see what it gives. So it's 36.97 multiplied by 24.23 and then all of that divided by 100 <clears throat> and I get 8957 8.957 uh, eight three. Okay, so um, 24.23 percent has four significant figures, and 36.97 also has four significant figures, which means that our answer needs to have one, two, three, four. It needs to have four significant figures. Okay. Um, 
uh, in this case, it happened by coincidence that both of these numbers had four significant figures. But remember that the rule for multiplying or dividing significant figures is to pick the one with the least number. So let's assume that uh, if this one had three significant figures and this one had four, you'd always pick the one with the least amount. So you would pick the one with three significant figures if that were the case. Okay, now the next step to this problem is to add these two numbers. Okay, so now you need to add 26.496, you need to add it to 8.95783. So let's add those two numbers and see what we get. Okay, so it's 8.95731 plus... 26.49769 and we get 35.4546 so we get an atomic mass equal to 35.45 <clears throat> uh, 46 okay so this is the atomic mass that we get now we need to round to the appropriate number of significant figures and we said that uh, 26.496 and 8.95783 were added okay remember that the rule for addition and subtraction is to pick the one with the least number of decimal places okay not significant figures the least number of decimal places 8.95783 uh, the least number of decimal places stops here so it has three uh, decimal places and 26.496 remember it stops here where the blue uh, line is the blue mark so this one has two decimal places okay two decimal places is less than three decimal places so we need to round our answer to two decimal places. This is where we need to round our answer. Okay, look at the number next to it. It's a four, which means that this is going to stay the same. So the atomic mass of chlorine is equal to 35.45 atomic mass units. And this is how you solve these problems.